Are you feeling anxiety or feeling overwhelmed over the size of your to-do list? Well, let's talk about it. Yesterday when I was talking about dropping the ball with all the things we need to keep up with in life, I remember feeling a sense of anxiety, a sense of stress, you know, feeling overwhelmed because I wasn't getting everything done that I needed to get done. And as I thought about it more, I had, a, I had a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you too. You see, we've got to take control of our life and take ownership of our life. And so one thing to remember is that the enormity of your to-do list is all based off of your past decisions. And one of those ways that you can take control of that is learning how to say no. Now it's not easy to say no, you know, as a, as a parent, as a spouse, or just in general life, you know, we want to, we want to please everybody. We want to make everybody happy, but we can't make everybody happy all the time. And we've got to remember that we are in control of that. So one thing that I always try and tell myself is I have to be okay with telling people no, because I'd rather tell people, no, I can't help you with that. Or no, I can't do that then later on in the near future, telling them the reasons why I let them down. So I would rather have that conversation with them right now, rather than having to feel that feeling of disappointment from them and myself of letting them down. I don't wanna let them down. So we've gotta take control of that. And here's the thing is we can't change the decisions that we made in the past, but we can learn from those and we can make it better. And that's something that I've had to be better about even in my business is being able to tell clients, no, do I want to do all the work for them? Absolutely. But can I? Absolutely not. So we've got to remember that and we've got to learn how to be able to be okay with just saying no. So remember your, the length of your to-do list is all based off of your decisions and you've got to learn how to be able to say no. So here's another thought that I had, and this is something that I recognized in my life. And it's a little bit of a tough truth to, to come to realize. You're not overwhelmed or feeling anxiety over your to-do list because you're doing too much. It's because you're doing too little. So what do I mean by we're doing too little? Two things actually, one is we're doing too little of the things that bring real fulfillment to our lives. We're not doing enough of those things, enough of those things to feed the soul, enough of those things or those steps forward in achieving your goals that also relate to your overall purpose and your overall why. So yeah, we've got to be doing things that lead toward fulfillment in our life. We're just not doing enough of those. And second, in general, we're just not doing enough. We're not doing too little. We're doing too little. Can we definitely stretch ourselves too thin? Absolutely, that goes back to saying no. We can definitely get in those positions where we are overstretching. Our to-do list, and mine, is, mine a lot as well, is filled with all the upkeep of life, right? I mean, the things that that we just have to do, right? We gotta pay bills, you know, we gotta do laundry, we gotta do dishes, you know, all that stuff that we just have to do. You're just flat out doing too little. But I'm gonna try and help you out with that. So here's something that's worked for me in the past. So every week on Sunday in my mindset journal, I do a brain dump. I simply go through the week, look at the schedule. I look at my appointments, my wife's appointments, um, her events, my events, and then I'll look at the boys and see what they have is it with their sports schedule, with their school schedule, whether it's practice, games, whatever it is. And I'll kind of write those down, just quickly jot them down high level because then it sticks them in my brain. Oh yeah, I've got this. It's a quick thing to look at. But then I go through and write down all the things that I'm thinking about, things that I want to do, tasks that I want to, that I need to get done for that week, or just things that I'm thinking about, you know, steps that I can take towards achieving my goals. And then every day down, 
down at the bottom of that days list, I have this thing called the GSD. It's the get shit done list. And I will pick three to five things that I need to do that day to be able to knock them off my list. Now, those aren't the mindset growth tasks or the MSGs. Because the MSGs are more of like the things that the the un the intangible things to where the GSD are the things that I can measure or things that I can, you know, check off the list. The M MGD MGTs are just things that I need to continually work on habits, that sort of thing. Anyway, I digress. So I go through, I go through that and I do it every single week. And then I try to do it every single day. Now, I'm not trying to sit up here and say that I'm perfect, that I'm doing it all the time every single day. I mean, there's days when I, when I, when I miss it, when I don't do it. And there's days when I can't knock all those things off my list. And that's okay. We've got to understand that we need to also be lenient with ourselves a little bit. However, I challenge you to do this today. When you get done watching this video or it's your next break or on your lunch break or even this evening during dinner or something, get out, take, sit down five minutes, take out a piece of paper or a notebook or your mindset journal and simply do a brain dump. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be how I do it. Just write down all the things that you're thinking about. Things that you need to get done, tasks, to-dos, anything and everything. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be organized. Just write it down. And then I challenge you, before you go to bed, pick one thing, only one thing, and do it. And just knock it off the list. And then here's the deal, tomorrow, do that same thing. You don't have to do the, my, the brain dump again. You've already done it. But pick one thing on your list that you can get done today. And then the next day, do it again. And the next day, think of where you'll be in a week. Do it for seven days and think of where you'll be in a week. Think of where you'll be in three to four weeks, in three months, six months, even a year. Think of all the things you can accomplish if you just stick to that and just stick to one thing. That's where momentum builds. That's where you get stuff done. And that's where you can stay on top of things and make things happen. You see, by just doing the one little thing every single, you know, once a day, does that in itself change your life? No, but it's the momentum, the accumulation of all those things added up over time that can change your life. So I challenge you to do that. Do that today. Do that this week. Then after you do that, Jump down in the comments and let me know what your task was or what's one thing you knocked off your to-do list. And then in a week, come back and let me know how that's been going for you. I'd really like to know. It's definitely helped me out and I hope it can help you out. I really appreciate you guys being here and listening to me ramble, going along with me on my morning drive. And like always, make the day yours, make the day great. We'll catch you later. See ya.